Hello, it's Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for F1 Manager 2022. As we continue our worst to first run with Williams Racing here, we are just starting the second half of this season. 11 races down, 11 races to go, and the next one starts in 11 days, and we have 111 points. That's a bunch of ones. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, I mean, we're there. We're in first place. If we can do everything we just did one more time, we'll, we'll be fine. I'm hoping we don't ever do everything we just did because there were some problems along the way. We definitely had some issues, but we are still there. We're still in first place. We still have the first place driver who happens to be the driver that started two races into the season. or third. That was, I think he started on the third race, right? Mr. Oliver here is the first place driver in the league right now, which is crazy to think about. Um, yeah, it, it's been an interesting season and I, I just... I don't know. It's less a sprint like it was last season. A sprint that we ran out of steam. It feels like more of a slow, methodical marathon right now. So I'm hoping that works out in our favor, but we'll find out. Let's go ahead and get into this, though, and see what we got going on here. Do we have any points to give out? We do not. What about our staff? Negative. Okay. All good there. We do have an underfloor design complete as well as a right a rear wing manufactured some sporting changes coming up um okay what are we saying here good competition is the heart of formula one to promote greater quality in the sport we propose that all teams receive the same wind tunnel and cfd testing time limits this is a significant re regulation change so please review the summary below so that actually gives the top player top guys more because right now these guys at the bottom get a lot more to help them kind of level back up. This actually is good for us. This gives us a bigger benefit. Um, yeah, we'll vote for it. It's good for us. F1 school invitation. Get 100,000 bucks, which is not really that much money, to have our staff experience pause for seven days. I don't think so. Don't think so. It's hundred thousand bucks is not worth losing a little bit of staff experience. We're just not gonna. We're not gonna need hundred thousand bucks. Is not gonna be what makes or breaks our season. It's not the money that we're running out of. It's the cost cap that we're running out of. We have twenty eight million bucks of cost cap, which is half of the amount of money we actually have, right? And um, yeah, so we'll be fine on the money. Are we still developing? Um, yeah, one, two, three. We got four things going. We got a bunch of things being manufactured. A couple of them will be done in time for the next race. Actually, it looks like they might all be done in time for the next race. Still cruising along. All right. Let's continue. There is our helipad refurbished. We are getting so close to that cost cap. Well, okay, so let me just look at this again. Car part development counts. Okay, that makes sense. Emergency purchases counts. But I don't think car part uh, car parts themselves count. Like the, do they? Oh, no, it does say designing, manufacturing, and researching. Okay. Hmm. Obviously, all the facilities. Yeah, I mean, we just, we don't have that much money left. I mean, we probably need to save at least the last 10 million bucks, at least, right? Um, yeah, so we still got another million bucks worth of staff salaries. About a half a million bucks for engineering team. Scouting team is not much, but it's there. Uh, pit crew is a little bit. I mean, facilities is huge on here, but I don't think we're going to be doing 65 million at facilities unless it's just um, 
Unless that's the at, at total of all. That's surely it's not the total of all the upkeep, right? There's no way. Um. Wow, it's five million bucks upkeep for all of these. Wow, it might actually be. We might, we might be done. That might be it. Because we've got... I mean, I don't know if it's going to be the full months, but we've got November, October, September, so that's three, four, potentially five months worth of upkeep. And that's 30 million bucks right there. Plus another 35, so it is 35 million bucks. Wow. We've gone over our cash cap. Yeah, we were going to go over our cost cap. I, I just wasn't thinking about the fact that our facilities upkeep wasn't that expensive. So what happens if we do go over our cost cap? I'm assuming we take a massive penalty. We can't do any more car part development. We're done. I don't know what to do then. I don't know how that all works out then. Definitely went a lot, went fa faster than I expected it to. I mean, the three million on emergencies apparently will incur a fine, but it's okay to break the cost cap for. So maybe we can't do any more car development. Wow. We're not winning this year and we can't do any research. We're done. Oh my goodness. Oh, I cannot believe that. I guess I wasn't, I was not taking into account how much the facilities were taken up. The monthly, monthly impact of the facilities. We have so little once you take into account all the facilities. That is crazy. I mean, if we've already paid this month we might be okay on not breaking it but barely but yeah we just we definitely can't do any more development i don't know that we're going to win this season if we can't do any more development if we can't win this season and we can't do any more development we're not be doing any research for next season which means next season we may have just had to we, we, next season's gonna have to be a if we don't win it this year next season's gonna have to be pure research to try and win it the year after that we're gonna have a dummy year next year that is as rough All because of the cost cap. Wow. Well, now I know, see. I, this is not a feature in. Um, I mean, obviously, Motorsport Manager is not. I wouldn't. I guess it's not really realistic rules and things like that. So this is this is more based on realistic rules of what actually happens in F one. So don't get me wrong. I get that, but I don't know F one. I don't watch F one. I don't. I don't know anything about F one, uh, other than playing this game. Um, I did not realize the facilities themselves the upkeep on the facilities was this much I, I assumed it was the um build new facilities would be part of cost cap but upkeep on facilities i was not aware that that was part of it i was not paying attention to that part so i thought we still had i was like okay well if i just stop upgrading my facilities which i'm about to do anyway we're fine there and we still got 28 million of card park development that is absolutely not the case We'll play it out, but I think we just shot ourselves in the foot big time, and that's just because I just don't know. I'm not familiar with the rules. And I didn't think it was possible that we'd ever hit that, to be honest. Wow, lots of people want this. It's interesting.
of course, we're just going to be sitting on stuff anyway. Like, we're not doing anything. We're going to be sitting on hours that serve us no purpose for the rest of the year. We can't do anything about the boardroom. I, I genuinely don't know what this means. Like, what happens if you run out of money? Like, I genuinely don't know what that means. Oh, uh, a little frustrated that that was not maybe more obvious. I mean, it's all there. I, I'm saying I couldn't have found the information, but it's not... I wouldn't say it's especially obvious. I'm gonna say that we have one driver getting the top. I don't know five. I'm not. I'm not gonna go crazy here. This. I mean, the money here doesn't help. It doesn't matter. We have more money than we could possibly spend, so there's really no point in getting money back. Like, there's no benefit whatsoever. And if the cost cap cap is a thing that continues, right? Then, um, we will never, you know, be able to spend all the money we've got. Is there any money that we're allowed to spend that is not part of the cost cap? Oh, yeah, there's something here, right? Oh, no, no, facilities. I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So upkeep is five million bucks for that thing. Seventeen million bucks for that thing. Twelve million. Looks like the refurbishment is not counted. So we've done twenty six million so far. Thirty six, forty one million. Forty two million. Forty two five maybe, something like that. Forty two point five million of our facilities has gone into refurbishments. But we've spent hundred and thirty million. Well then that's like ninety million bucks there, and that is way less than the cost cap is telling us. I don't understand this number. We have spent more than 37 million bucks on upkeep on our facilities. Oh, no, I was looking at the wrong number. 84 minus 40. Okay, okay, that's better. Okay. What, what number does? Let's see. Oh, I was looking at the projection number. Okay, okay, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So, yeah, I think all of these already still have the... Um, the refurbishment stuff in there. Although, actually, the refurbishment is probably less than that. But anyway, it looks like it's actually going to add up to be about, about right. So that's fine. So refurbishments and stuff like that does not count against us. If that, if I read that all right. So that's good. What else does not count against us? We spent $6 million on staff. This is saying 1.4 million. Unless staff includes everything, right? 1.4, uh, 2 point, that's still no, that's not even close. Hmm. We spent 52 million on car part development. 43 and 6, so it's 49. Okay, this is a higher number. What, what am I missing here then? Oh, maybe the engines? 50, 67. Is that, is that, is that closer? No. Uh, yes, it is because we're, we, we don't include the, the emergency purchase. So it, it is 67. 
But the emergency purchase comes out to its own category, but it's still part of the cost. Okay, fair enough. All right, so all that is included. Yeah, I don't know. This is... We definitely make more money than we will ever need. Is the thing. We just can't spend that much money. It's so weird. Then what's the point of having the money? Like, I genuinely... Again, other than, I guess, again, we can do upkeep on the facilities. And that is okay. So, for example, we can refurbish the boardroom. Why not? We got the money. We don't need to spend it on... That doesn't count against us, according to what I'm seeing. Unless I missed something. Already refurbishing that. And nothing here. Okay, so I think, okay. Well, apologies for the deep dive into craziness, but unless I'm missing something else, we are definitely in trouble. I'm not, I'm, I have, we have not removed the fact that we're in trouble, but at least we can refurbish our buildings. That's the only thing it looks like we can do for the rest of the season, but at least we can do that. It's this is not going to be a good season. I, I misunderstood some stuff. Well, then we're going to have to still use these engines then, which is very unfortunate. Uh, I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll leave the ERS on here, I guess. And no new engines for the rest of the season. Unless that counts as an emergency part. Does it? Because we already get a penalty elsewhere? Hmm. I don't know. How many engines we've we done? We've done actually let me check real quick. We've done one engine there. No gearboxes, right? And one engine there. So we've done two engines. That's two million bucks. I don't think we've done any gearboxes. Yeah, we shouldn't have done any gearboxes. So two million bucks are there. And then probably the other emergency parts that we've done along the way. So maybe that does count towards that. Part of me wants to build an engine just to see where it comes from, but I guess I won't completely eliminate the idea that we could do an engine. And we'll have the money for it because we have to stop spending money elsewhere. So very, very strange and unexpected. I mean, I get, I get the idea of cost caps. You don't want somebody to just be able to just buy their way into a victory. I get it, but I mean. Then what's the point of having money? <laughs> like, like, seriously, we're gonna have more money than we can spend. It's kind of kind of a weird one. I mean, I guess if Oliver's our best driver right now, we'll we'll stop we'll swapping out Theo. I feel like I'm missing something because my brain is all scattered thinking about that other stuff, but we'll go with this. Yeah, I genuinely don't think we can win this. I, th I, th I thought we had a hard chance, but a good chance to win when I thought we could develop the rest, at least a little bit more throughout the rest of the season. But stopping development immediately. Like, well, I don't even know if we can manufacture the parts that we just developed. I mean, if we're going to, I guess we're going to have to just take whatever penalty we can because all that development time for nothing would be really even worse, I would say. But, yeah. I'm a little bummed out, not going to lie. I was looking forward to, like, really figuring out how to tweak this for the rest of the season. But, yeah, I'm kind of disappointed now. Yeah, 
And if had I known about that, about the, uh, the, um, buildings and stuff, I wouldn't have done as many upgrades as I did. I, some of those upgrades were just because, why not? I thought we had the money. But had I realized that those also counted against us. I thought, again, I thought it was the upgrades that caught it, counted against us for the cost, not the main, the, the upkeep. Had I realized it was the upkeep, I definitely would not have upgraded as many factory stuff as I did. Ooh, wheel. Did I already do this? Wait, what? What did I miss? Nothing changed. Okay, let me try this again. <laughs> I think I, could, I messed something up. Uh... Okay, optimal, great, optimal, optimal, optimal. So let me just plug these back in. Something didn't math out proper there because it didn't tell me to change anything, which doesn't make any sense. Okay, there we go. <laughs> At least something got changed. That was weird. Probably again being distracted by other stuff. Plug something in wrong. All right, you got four greats and an optimal. I mean, I'm glad I checked now instead of a month from now or something crazy, but I still think it's too late for us to do anything about it. Here we are back for another day. Research is cheaper though. And maybe that's the thing. We should have switched over to research sooner. Um, yeah, I guess that's, that's the way to go because research ultimately is cheaper. I mean, I guess that's how you're supposed to do it, but I was trying to trying to min-max a bit more just for this season. Go with that. Let's see if we can get something here. Just gotta do the best we can. Each of these races, each of these races is extremely important at this point. Oh, because of the wreck. Oh, and I just realized I forgot to put on new car parts, which is fine now because we haven't done the qualifying yet. But we do have. Uh. We not built any of the fives? I thought we built the fives. Five really worse. Five is worse. We do have enough fours to go ahead and put that on both cars. Oh, that's right. I think we're making a six. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah. We knew five was bad, but we were making a six. Uh, rear wing. We're good on both of those. Side pods, we're good on both of those. Underfloor. We do have presumably better underfloors. Which I should have been running in practice to get the car part knowledge, but that's okay. I think it'll be fine. And we do have better... 
suspension. Take care of both of those. Now we have to go back to this other ERS. Gearbox. I guess we'll go with the new engine for now. Check. I'm sorry, I've got this weird feeling that I didn't put everything on properly. Okay, we're checking that. We're good there. Just make sure everything has the same parts. I don't know why I just had this weird feeling that I missed one, but I think we're okay. Yeah, we're okay there. All right, we're good. Okay. I don't know why. It's better to check one more time. Uh, okay, let's go call it. I mean, that looks great, but only if we can hold on for... Uh, the race itself. I mean, this is a decent result other than the fact that Red Bull's ahead of us. Like, that's the one team we can't have ahead of us. I mean, this still wouldn't be ideal, right? This would be, if the race ended like this, it would be 10 points, 8 points, 6 points, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So 10, 12 points for us, 14 points for them. So yeah, so that would be bad. Drivers are strapping themselves. Uh, I didn't actually check to see stuff like deer, uh, deer zones. Two DRS zones, both straightaways basically, and then tires, not a big difference between softs and hards. So I'd be surprised if the softs become a strategy. It does not look like it's going to be. Looks like we can have one guy start on mediums and one guy start on hards, and that's really how it's going to be. You're further behind, so I'm going to have you start on the mediums. I'm going to have you start on the hards and finish strong, and we'll just go with that. Yep, go with that. Okay, I'll be, I'm going to actually put a quick pause in the video. I'll be right back uh, in just a moment. You guys won't even notice. All right, I'm back. Had to eat some dinner. And while I was eating dinner, I was doing some research because why not? Um, I was curious about the cost cap stuff and kind of how that all worked out and things like that. And in my research for cost cap, I learned i mean things you guys may already know but i learned that the cost cap was actually just introduced two years ago 2021 um or, or something like that 2020 uh, yeah i think it was 2021 and the very first season it looked like it was introduced red bull broke the cost cap in real life uh then i think that, i don't know if there was any hard number i mean i saw one article that said they went over by 1.8 mil but i saw another article that said it could be anywhere up to seven mil. I, I don't know. It was, I'm sure there's an official number out there, but I wasn't like digging that far because I didn't care that much about that part. But the penalty they got was that they got fined. Whatever their overage was, I think they got fined a, a portion of that. And then I think they got lost some hours in the, um, in the, uh, the testing stuff like that. Some, some testing hours. Um, but you know, whatever. I mean, there, you could argue that they won the championship that year. That was probably worth whatever they had to pay, honestly, at the end of the day, since they won. If they hadn't won, it probably would have been worse. But since they won, in their minds, probably worth it. Um, 
in game, I, uh, I saw some posts um, that people said that they got fined like 10% of the overage or something like that. Um, there were a few people that said they got fired by going over cost cap. This could be a very interesting season. <laughs> I might have to restart this entire playthrough all because I did not understand the cost cap stuff and I had no possible like thought in my mind that upgrading to factories and all that stuff was going to be what hurt me the most. Like, I can handle car part development being under a certain number and staff numbers and things like that. Now, we don't have to pay our drivers. Drivers are not part of the cost cap, things like that. And technically, your most three most expensive staff members isn't part of your cost cap. I don't know if that's the case in the game or not. Like, our, our three most expensive would be um, probably our engineers and things like that. So, um, I I don't know what's going to happen. This could be a very, in, a very unfortunate end of the season. Um... And we can't go back and undo factory, you know, things. I would if I could. I genuinely did not have any thought in my mind that that would be what was... The upkeep, upkeep itself was what was part of the cost cap. Again, I genuinely thought it was the upgrades, not the upkeep. So, big whoopsie. Hey, learning mistake, learning issue for all of you guys. If we did mess up and I have to restart this whole series, it's not the end of the world because, quite frankly, I've learned a lot. And I think there's some things I will definitely do better the next time around. It's just very unfortunate to come this far and to be this close. <sighs> anyway, let's go and get to the race. <clears throat> it's a bit of a cloudy Don't know how it's going to end up, but you guys will uh, this is it. it's turn down this stuff a little bit. French You'll be here right alongside with me. We'll, we'll learn together. It's lights out, and oh, away awesome. we go. Uh, I just realized I need to put you on full deploy. Burn, yes. I did actually go ahead and put one extra lap of gas into... Theo's car. I didn't do anything with Oliver's. Uh, I just I know Theo's going to have to catch up here a little bit, so we're going to see if that will help him a little bit. Maybe I should have put some on Oliver so he could push a lot harder. I don't know. I'm actually going to go ahead and switch to you for a second and see kind of how you get off the line here. All right, good start. Just really need to push as far as fast as we possibly can these first couple laps. Meanwhile, Theo's moved up to 8th. And there's an overtake from Williams. Ooh, Theo's moved up to 7th. Alfa Romeo... Just moved up a place. Now it is back down to eighth. All right, let's immediately drop down some of the fuel, some of that stuff. Uh, we're going to keep deploying a smidge longer here, I think. Uh, same with you. Go down to that. You can keep pushing on the gas, though. And a new position just gained by Williams. He goes back up to seventh. All right, that's about as far as I want to go. Go back down to neutral. Keep that going for a little bit longer. You are still good. Let's go ahead and swap back over to Theo's perspective, see what he's looking like. He's up to six now. So he's gained up all of his positional losses from his penalty, which is good. All right, we gotta go back to neutral for you as well. And we're gonna go ahead and go back down to standard. Keep pushing on the fuel though. Actually, you know what? We're not gonna push on the fuel. We're gonna hold off. We're actually going to go ahead and start harvesting a little bit here. We got ERS now, or DRS, I should say. Let's just settle in here. Uh, you can actually, I'm sorry, drop down to standard. Um, and I guess drop down to balanced.
All right, starting to drop back a little bit more than I'd like, so let's go back up to neutral. Okay, go back to harvest for a little bit here. Oliver just needs to run a lights out race right now. He just needs to race the race of his life and just stay up there. I I think they'll reel him in though. I do think they'll start running him in, but we can hope, right? I think they already are. Yeah, they're already starting to reel him in. Push a little bit on the fuel while we're kind of harvesting here. Just to stay close here. We're hitting cat, but I want to go ahead and stay harvest through this until we get across the line. We'll go back to neutral there for a little bit. Wait till the track kind of builds up a little bit, and then we will start worrying about doing any sort of passing after that. Okay, let's go back to neutral. Uh, we'll go ahead and just go back to balance. Let's just settle in here for a bit. Let the track get a little bit more sticky. Technically, I could probably even afford to just drop the tires down to light a little bit here. Just settle in here. We're not in a hurry to get past these guys just yet. Good thing is Oliver's going to get a little bit faster coming out of the pits later. Um, I was going to pass him, but I was like, I don't know what I, I don't need to just yet. I'm just, I still be okay with being patient. I don't feel like I need to pass him just yet. And we're passing this guy light on the tires, which is impressive. Technically, it's light on the tires and the engine. It's both, actually. So I'm impressed that we actually got a pass there. Oliver's up to three and a half seconds. Good job there, buddy. 3.6. Keep it up, buddy. Still several percentage points behind these guys as far as tires, so... I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's not... Maybe light is not light enough you know what i mean maybe it's not a big uh, enough of a difference oh wow there's a potentially good pass there come on go 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 no all right that's fine that's fine the fact that we're getting that close to passing while being very conservative right now 
is is really good good news that means when we actually start to push we should be able to swing right past these guys in theory doesn't feel like we're gaining that much benefit from the tires uh, we're within three percent now of of the other red bull car four percent of the guy or five percent of the guy in front of us now so maybe we are Maybe we're slowing down the, the, the wear a little bit. Three point eight seconds for Oliver. Also got a you know bunch a chunk of his fuel back, so that's good to see. Oh, good move there. Go, 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 go. Did we do it? Did we do it? We did it. Good move. I mean, if the race ended exactly like this, this is possibly the best news possible for us. Now, obviously, there's so much more race left to go, but I'm just saying the point spread right now is perfect. Both Red Bull cars behind my second car, and I don't care that there's people ahead of me. I mean, yeah, Mercedes is right on our tail, too, but only one of their cars is, you know, there. So, no, this, is, this would be a perfect score right here. In fact, I bet if we can... Uh, yeah, see, so Oliver gains the 10 points. Uh, Theo gains, where's Theo? Theo's right here. He gains five points. So he does lose a spot. Theo loses a spot, but we gain 15 points overall. If everything ended right now, we gain more points. Uh, this is this would be a perfect, perfect result. So, a lot of race left, but we don't have to be first and second. We need to be first, <laughs> really, kind of. We really do. Um, but as, we need to be first and we need to be ahead of Red Bull. Those are kind of our two things. Um, technically, if we are not even first, but just still ahead of Red Bull, that's still okay. But um, eventually we will have to worry about Mercedes too, though, if we keep doing that kind of thing. We're getting there a little bit. I mean, we're, we're getting a little bit of our tread back, I guess. Or not tread back, but you know what I mean. It's not like we get tread back. We're conserving a bit more of our tread. As we progress through this. Meanwhile, Oliver over four seconds, almost four and a half seconds, looking extremely good. Just keep it up, buddy. And at some point I need to do some harvest on him. Just because I want him to be able to come out after the pit stop and really either get back or maintain his lead. Flirting with the 0.1 kilograms under. So he's, he's flirting with getting all of his fuel back. Go, 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 go. I would overtake now, but I just... I'm, I'm okay with being patient. We've learned this. Patience is okay. This, however, is not okay. What you do? Do you spin out? Lock up? Worst thing that could possibly have ever happened. Yeah, he locked up. Now we see the Williams here. Well, they've lost it. They've locked up. I mean, he's kind of lucky to have been able to get back out in front of everybody, but the well, there goes our first place finish. I don't. <laughs> Very frustrating, as you guys would obviously know. I mean, we were gaining. We were gaining, but we will not gain again at all, period. It's too much DRS time. I mean, there's enough on this back edge to potentially get some, some stretch, but... Oh, my goodness. I am beyond frustrated right now. All right, fine. You know what? I don't care right now. We're just going to settle in here. Just let it run. 
We're going to have to get it back after the pit. Cannot believe we lost all that. And a new position just gained by Williams. Mercedes moved up a place. Track grips, track grip is low. I mean, I could start doing some passing now. I'm just going to stay patient for now. All right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go harvest. I am going to go ahead and push. Seems a little crazy. We are going to lose a little more fuel. I think we can get it back. I'm okay with that. I just want to be able to stay kind of in this area here. But I need to get some um, need to get some ERS back. Or else we will not have a chance to do anything afterwards. That's a position gained for Alpha Tauri. What in the world? Oh, ERS. ERS is going to go to 335 though. So we're fine. I don't know why it gives you a warning now. It, it said 35. And there's an overtake from Williams. I mean, part of me wants to really push this now. Alternatively, I could just delay and come out on some hards that I can push a little bit more later. Yeah, I mean, that might be okay. I mean, what do we gain? We could potentially get back into first. I don't think we could push past first. Uh, not with Oliver here also. Enough to uh, break anything. So I, th I don't know that being two spots ahead when we pit is really going to make enough of a difference to justify pushing now. I think, like I said, if anything, we can just settle in for a bit longer on these tires. Alpha Tower regained a place. All right, should be about one more lap or like partial lap that before we can be done with the uh, harvesting. I'm going to finish this lap and harvesting. Just make sure we have as much as we possibly can. And then uh, we'll go from there. I mean, this right here is still ultimately an okay result because Alpha Tari is not up there with us. But they were first. Not the end of the world, but obviously we, we want to win this, right? I mean, we, we want those two extra points. All right, so we're full on harvested. We are going to now go to conserve, but we're also going to go back to neutral. Get the fuel back now. And 
Meanwhile, Theo is still just doing Theo things. Theo's fine. Don't... Again, we're still not, like, an amazing spot on the track grip. I'm just going to play it safe. We're fine for right now. Interesting. I mean, these are gonna, they're come out. They're going to come out fast here in just a moment. Um, I think if anything, I'm going to put push on you. And we'll go with that. I mean, they're going to try and undercut us at this point, which I don't blame them, and they probably will. So. I mean, that's, that's a lot of people in pit. All right, we got most of our fuel back. I think once we get below 40%, we'll pit Theo. Honestly, at this point, we're just going to go ahead and put you back on standard. We've gained a lot. I think I'm going to go ahead and pitch you now. We gained a lot that we weren't expecting to, so I think this is okay. It's a very long pit, though. I'm judging by these other guys. Go, 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 go. Such a long pit stop. And they did. They undercut. Every single one of them undercut us. Come on, come on, come on. I get something here. Go, 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 go. Come on, can we get another one? Right. 
I don't want to push the tires too much more than that. And there's an overtake from I mean, we got a little bit left in the tires, but like a little extra in the tires, I should say. But I don't want to go crazy, crazy. Come on, come on, go, 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 go. All right, as close as we can go. We gotta go neutral now. And a new position just gained by All right, Williams. let's settle in here for a little bit. We're gonna go balance. We're gonna go ahead and harvest. Get some of this back. Actually, we can probably say pushed on the on the fuel. Just to stay close to you guys and keep the guys from behind us from getting past us again. I mean, the actual first place person is seventh right now. He's the real first place because he's already pit. Um, so that's a pretty good. That's a pretty good jump. Uh, that means that we're in third right now officially. I say official, but you know what I mean. Like we are in third. We still definitely need to get past Red Bull. That's that's that has to happen. Whether we get past Mercedes or not, not again, not as critical, but obviously would be ideal. That's a position gained for Alpha Tauri. It's a lot of space between us and, and, and Mercedes though. Track grip is high though, that's that's good. I mean, we could try to make a break with Oliver, but Look at that. They've run wide. I think we're okay for now. Oh, see, that's all right. That's all right. I mean, I got to play this out. I got to play the long game here. It's a race position gained for Mercedes. Okay, actually, this is a good time to go ahead and. Try and sneak past these guys. Ah! How did you let Red Bull get past you? Alright, it's fine. We tried. This gap right here is not good. I'm not happy with that. But it's starting to close back up again. Right, this will be our last lap of harvest here. Let's go back to neutral. We get a good opportunity again. We'll start overtaking again. I'm actually going to put you back on balance for a second. We'll see if we get an opportunity here. Meanwhile, Oliver, I think Oliver can go one lap past his projected pit. Okay, you know what? This might actually be an opportunity, opportunity to get past this guy at least. We get past another guy. Okay, it's another guy. We get past another one. The Red Bull's flying up there. I gotta get past these guys to be able to have a chance to go after Red Bull. Go 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 go. Okay, 
All right. Um, I'm just going to settle back in. Let's get caught back up with Ripple before we try anything else. And there's an overtake from Williams. We've just had a car run wide. All right, we'll be able to get past Red Bull on the next DRS. Um, which means we'll be, should be able to fly past him and hopefully do a, de a deploy to get caught up with the uh, Alpha Tar guy. He's already pit too, hasn't he? Yeah, he's, he pit already and he came out ahead of us. That is crazy. All right, uh, we're going to go ahead and plan your pits, my friend. We've got to get an incredible pit shot from you. I'm actually going to go ahead and go full on attack. We're going to try and... We're okay with burning a little bit off the tire. See if we can gain a little bit of ground here. Go, go, go. Get past him. Get past him. Get past him. Get past him. In fact, we're going to go ahead and full deploy here and go full push and full attack. Can we just get right past him? Go, 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 go. Come on. Swing past him. Come on. No. You're not even going to try. You're not even going to try. Really, dude? Okay, there we go. No. You're really not going to try. Okay, that's a good move there, sort of. I gotta stay on deploy though here, try and put a little bit of space here, but also catch up with the guys in front of us. Who are one of them? I mean, this guy's on faster tires than us right now. So we're unlikely to catch him, I had to be perfectly honest. Come on, Oliver. All these guys properly pitted and everything. Nope. Two guys still to pit. So as of right now, we're in second place with way better tires than the Mercedes the guy. Okay. So we have a chance with Oliver here. It really comes back down to Theo. So Oliver, just be patient. These guys are going to get out of your way here in a moment. Just be patient. Theo has got to get past Red Bull. Again. I would expect those two guys to pit probably this lap. If not this lap, definitely the next. Oh, well, they didn't pit this lap. It's, it's kind of interesting. Honestly, I'm going to settle in. I'm not going to worry about it too much. I'm going to go back to neutral, but I'm going to settle in on the tires for a little bit. Conserve those tires. Let's just stay close to these guys. Once they pit, we'll be able to catch up with the Mercedes, I think. And a new position just gained by Williams. I mean, we're conserving tires and we already passed them too, so that is good.
Actually, I'm going to go and harvest just a smidge longer here. Just stay close to that 93 as possible. Okay, there's one pit right there. As soon as we get the reset, we'll go back to neutral. Still one more guy to get pit out of there. Surprised you're still out here, buddy, but that's all right. We don't, we don't, we don't got to win by 10 seconds. We just got to win. I do want to get past this Avatar. I got to get back on Red Bulls. Um, right behind Red Bull. Right, I'm going to go ahead and harvest here with you again. Just a little bit longer. Starting to lose some space between us and Mercedes, though. Which is not ideal. Okay, that's guy's pit. And that guy pit. I'm sorry, no, that's the wrong guy. I was looking at the wrong thing. All right, you're gonna go back to neutral. Theo just losing a lot of space there. I'm gonna go back to neutral with Theo. Oliver's starting to lose a lot more space than I would like. How is this Al Alpine guy not gone? What is he doing? And I'm still not super worried just yet. Alpha Tower regained a place. Okay, that guy's gone. Now everybody is legit. Okay, so that's fine. All right, so we got up with Mercedes, as I kind of knew we would. A little surprised Theo's not getting past this guy just yet, but go, 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 go. Okay, good job there. All right, we're going to uh, go full on deploy to catch up, but we're going to go ahead and turn these back down. Why, Oliver, why? Sounds like a spin. Let's have a look. Now we see the Williams here. Look at that. They spun their car. I mean, I guess we got lucky that it, could, it wasn't worse than it was. But I think that loses us. That that's lost it. I don't know that he can catch back up. All right, start with the harvest. Stay on his tail. We're just going to play this patiently with Theo. We're just going to let him see if we can get the last, like, just pass him at the very last second. Meanwhile, Oliver, I, honestly, there's nothing we can do with Oliver. He's not gaining any ground right now, so. 
nothing we can do. And we can try and be a little bit more aggressive with the fuel for a couple laps here. Possibly even push with the tires. That's about all we can do. Maybe he can catch up a little bit. Kind of don't want to lose that spot. So even though I spent a little bit of fuel, I would rather not spend. I think I'm okay with it. We don't have to get all the harvest back immediately. Oh, well, never mind. All right. um, it's fine. It's whatever. We'll get it back later. Oliver's almost caught back up. He's actually back within DRS, so let's go back to balance that. And start harvesting with you, too. Got plenty of time to get a good harvest back. We've got plenty of time to get some fuel kind of built up for Oliver. Theo's going to be good on the fuel. Possibly convert some serve, conserve some tires as well at some point. we got plenty of time to kind of just be patient here. But it is five cars up here, which is not ideal. At least there's a big enough gap between us and sixth place. But okay, we're almost done harvesting with Theo. Don't need to conserve any more fuel with you, but we might conserve a little bit of tires here in a moment. I'm going to go about half a lap with Theo here. Still on harvest. Get past this next DRS, and I think we'll be fine. Yep. Yeah. You're going to go back to neutral, and then you're going to go back to light. Conserve a little bit on your tires. That sounds like someone's gone wide there. <laughs> We're harvesting. We're almost getting past Red Bull here. It's impressive. How are we looking on tires? We've got the best tire wear on the best tires of this top five group. Uh, Theo is the worst, unfortunately. So flip flopped on those. Let's get, back, get past this DRS with uh, Oliver and we'll go back to neutral with him. All right, so now with him, we want to go back to neutral. We do want to conserve some fuel. So we're going to try and build up a little bit of fuel, a little bit of cushion, maybe 0.2, no more than 0.3. I mean, this is not a bad way to finish. We're still ahead of both Red Bull cars. I think we can get past Mercedes, though. Plenty of time. I think it's okay if Oliver gets past Theo here. He's in a better position to take that first place spot. All right, 
right, Autumn's got plenty of fuel now. Back to balanced. So I got lots of laps left. Plenty of time here. And if anything, we're going to conserve some tires with you as well. It's so different from how I was last season. I'm trying to be very patient here. Find our good opening. I do think the best thing would be for Oliver to get past Theo, though. He has the absolute best chance to make a huge leapfrog move when it comes time. I'm too scared to say don't fight your teammate. I mean, the best thing would probably be just to have you harvest and see if he can just get past you. Uh, tire wire is getting a little bit closer to everybody else's. Ideally, what we get is first with Oliver, third. I'd be happy with third with Theo. So Theo needs to pass one guy. Oliver needs to pass two guys. Well, as of now. Um, so I think Oliver has it in him to pass both these guys when the time comes. And then I think Theo can just get past whichever one of them gets ends up being behind. Probably AlphaTauri. Tripito, we might be able to just pass them both right now. And then stay ahead. I just don't know. I will probably try to start Oliver's a bit early. That way, Theo can then adjust as needed. If we get a good opening here, I will go ahead and trigger it, though. Mm, it's a little bit too far back. Go, 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 go. Actually, this might be a good opening. Don't get over it, don't get over it, don't get over it. Ah, I knew he was going to get over it. I knew as soon as I started saying that. Go, 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 go. And there's an overtake from Williams. Now, ideally, what happens here is that we could put some gap here. Now, they're going to get DRS for a second, but we have it on the backside here. We might be able to do something. Probably down too aggressive on that. We almost got to a second. We got it to a second. Okay, we're going to go to neutral because I don't want to burn too much of the fuel. Keep it on aggressive here and keep it on attack there. Meanwhile, Theo, go back to standard. Let's get caught back up here. Just got to get past one of these guys. Oh, come on. Um, let's go ahead and push. Could probably push the rest of the race actually with you. Come on, get cut back up, kick it back up back. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, we've got it. We've got to trigger his stuff now. So you're gonna go full on overtake. Just gotta get past one of them. Let's get past one of them. That's all I need. One. Get past both. I'm not gonna cry, but just get past one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Just get past one. Get past one. Come on. No, don't stay back here behind him. Okay, we're just gonna go full on deploy. I don't know if it's gonna matter, but come on. Just gotta get past one of them. Ah, Alphatari, get out of my way. We're not going to get it past them. They're running a good race right now. They're doing a really good job. Possible, maybe, did we wait too long? Maybe, come on, go, 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 go
Go, 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 go. If we get past both, I will... I will... Kish the monitor. <laughs> go, 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 go. No! That's okay. We did what we needed to do. We did what I wanted to do. Now, I'm not super happy that it was Mercedes. I was hoping to be Alpha Tari in that second spot. It's okay. We won. We got third place. That's all I needed. Could have potentially squeezed out that second place. I don't know. If we pushed it a little bit sooner, possible. But honestly, this is the exact result that I was... I'm happy with this result. Extremely happy with this result. Especially considering the, the two spins from Oliver. And he still won. That's that's huge. Or this the lockup and the spin, I should say. Right? Or is it Theo that got a lockup? No, it was Oliver both times, wasn't it? Yeah, because he was four seconds ahead, locked up, and then just recently he, he spun out and got it back. No, that was absolute excellent race from Oliver. Exactly what we want to see. 16 points for the team. Uh, the other Mercedes car was seven, so they still got a point there, or two points there, I should say. So they got a total of 10 points. Oliver still in first place by five points now. Theo kept his spot. Mercedes did move up a couple because he did pass Theo. Uh, but overall, constructors, we gained nine points on Red Bull and six points on Mercedes. That is an extremely good result. Very long episode. Sorry, guys. A lot of talking about the cost cap stuff. But uh, I think it was necessary to kind of go over that. So I don't know how it's going to end up. I really don't. We might get fired two races from the end of winning. For all I know. I honestly do not know. Well, there we go. Still in first. <laughs> we'll see what happens in the next episode. But uh, just got to take it a race at a time at this point, I guess. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.